Shalom, shalom, Aki, Mr. Brother A. Yakanin. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, Baraka I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and have taught me this truth. And citation out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I want to say shalom, okay? Hey, today's lesson, Aki, I'm just going to go into spiritual powers, man. Okay, because we're getting close to those times. All right. Revelation 12, 12 says that the devil know he had but a short time. So he's going to come down with great wrath. Okay. And then the Lord's going to give some of, some of his men spiritual powers, man, to combat uh, that the stuff that Esau has. Okay, because we can't rely on his flesh. And we certainly can't rely on, on, on his weapon, on his guns, on his technology, because he, he is way more far advanced than what we are. So we have to rely on our power. On Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to deliver us and to give us our spiritual powers to combat Esau. Okay? So the first scripture I'm gonna bring out is Luke 10 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Basically making us indestructible. Okay? And the Lord is going to make us indestructible, man. Where do you think they get all those ideas from? In these movies, these Marvel movies, these Avenger movies, okay? They get that strictly from the scriptures, man, okay? They know that the men of the Lord are going to be given spiritual powers, okay? Why do you think Jake resonates so much with, with, with Dragon Ball Z, with Naruto, with all this anime? It's because that's deep in us, man. That's encoded in us, okay? We will be given those spiritual powers. In the kingdom, we were all, all of Israel are going to have spiritual powers, okay? Some on higher levels, some on lower levels, but we all would be spiritual, well, uh, have spiritual powers and be like gods, man. Be like many Yahweh Shai's, okay? Isaiah 59, 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And that standard is given spiritual powers, okay? Because, again, Esau is going to come in, man, like a flood. He's going to rush, all right? He's going to try to get the people off guard, okay? And then the only way we're able to combat or be able to escape is obviously through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But through that, he's going to be giving his men spiritual powers, okay? And that's going to be, you know, uh, being, being self uh, uh, uh Nothing's going to be able to touch us, man. The bullets ain't going to be able to harm us. The plasma beams they have ain't going to be able to harm us, okay? Nothing they have will be able to harm us, man, okay? We'll literally be like walking Superman, man, but except kryptonite was his it was his weakness. We won't have any weaknesses, man, okay? We're 100% indestructible, okay? Isaiah 40 and 30. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Hey, man, we indestructible, man. We're going to be flying. Okay, ain't nothing going. We're not even going to know what death is. Okay, unlimited energy. Okay, we're going to be able to take flight. We're going to be able to fly. Okay, it's going to be a miraculous uh, uh, sight, man. It's going to be miraculous to be able to even do that type of stuff, man. Okay, these are the things that are coming to Yahweh to Yahu Bashim Yahweh Shai's men, man. Okay, first and foremost, starting with the elect, man. Okay, that's going to get it on this side first, man. Okay, everybody's going to get it in the kingdom. Psalms 18, 29. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. This is King David, if I'm not mistaken. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God? For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my highest places. He teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holded me up. 
and thy greatness have made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet do not slip. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them, neither do I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that were not able to rise, they are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength unto battle, thou hast subdued me under those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me thy necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind, I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast had me in the head of the heathen. A pupil people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid of their close places. The Lord liveth, the Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avenged me and subdued the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and sheweth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. Yep, that was David, man. What does the scripture say right here as a precept? Zechariah 12 and 8. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, of Israel, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, because we will be feeble, feeble men, because we don't have um, our power like how we used to, man. Okay, Esau is being dealt with on the left-hand side right now by Yahweh, but soon the Lord going to deal with us, man, at a high level, okay? And the feeble that day shall be as David. You just read what David was able to do, and the house of David shall be as God. And the angel of the Lord before them, it said, as the feeble shall be like David. Okay, scripture says, hey, you shall do um, more uh, greater miracles than I have. I right? talk in Matthew talking about Yahweh Shai, all the great miracles that he did. We're going to be able to even perform greater miracles than that. Okay, and there were so many miracles that was that, that happened in that day that there were so many that they couldn't even fit them all in the scriptures, man. The Lord just put certain ones that he wanted in there. Okay, but there's, there were so many miracles that was done that wasn't even spoken about in the scriptures. Okay? Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 7. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks, like sparkles among the stubble. And there you have it, man. Sparkles among the stubble. That's super speed, man. That's like flash, man. Okay? Flash type speed, man. Okay? These are the things that are going to be given to the men, to the Lord's men, man. Revelation 11, 3. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three scores clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must be in them in, in this manner be killed. So you heard fire coming out of his mouth. We're gonna be blowing fire, shooting fire, controlling the plagues, man. Okay, it's gonna be man, it's gonna be a beautiful sight, man. Okay. The people in this world it's gonna be like a, literally out of a movie, man. Alright, but except the movie that we're reading out of, the Bible is actually the real movie, man. Okay, these movies are just acting out the scriptures. Okay, but the people in the world they don't know that. Okay. Micah 413. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thine horn iron, and I will make thy hooves brass, and thou shalt beat in many pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto the Lord, and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. Okay? And now when you go into the word horn in the blue letter, it's going into talking about shooting laser boom, laser beams and whatnot. Okay? So all those kame kame highs that you've seen in Dragon Ball Z, being ever Dragon Ball Z, being ever there, create that amount of energy, that amount of power, that amount of uh, plasma beams and lightning beams and lightning and fire and so on and so forth. Hey, we'll be able to do that, man. Okay, you got the movie out there, the Avatar, the Aven the Last Airbender. Okay, where the Avatar is able to master all four elements of the Earth. You know what is it? Wire, 
it's, it's, it's the ground, it's fire, it's wind, and then it's water. Okay, well, we'll be able to manipulate the elements. Any let it, element there is, man, we'll be able to manipulate it and use it to our advantage. Okay? Metal. Okay? Whatever you, man, whatever you would and, and, and in one avatar, they was even able to blood bed. They was able to even control people by their blood, man, by, the, by, by their blood. Okay? We'll be doing that to the heathen, man, in the kingdom. They, they act out of place. 1 Kings 4.33. And he spake of trees from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon even unto the hyssop that springeth out of the wall. He spake also of beasts and of fowl and of creepy things and of fishes. So we're going to be able to also speak to the, to the animals as well, man. Be on one accord. It says, that's how be a legion with the beast of the field. Okay? But we're going to be having lions and, and, and saber tooths and woolly mammoths and uh, any type of animal we really want, man, is our pets. Okay? Walking among them, man. Okay? Not even having to fear anything, man. Okay? Everything's going to be in its natural habitat. Everything's going to be in 100% correct order in the kingdom. Okay? Even lions are going to be eating the cud, man. Lions are going to be killing no deer or nothing no more. Okay? 1 Corinthians 15, 53. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So Yahweh Shai is coming back to first and foremost deliver us out of this body, man. Okay? This everlasting chains of darkness. Okay? We were those angels that left that first estate. Okay? So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption... And this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? And like El Tahart says, man, okay, there's no such thing as death, man, just translation. Okay, because we're just getting translated from one realm to the other realm. Okay, from the earthly realm to the spiritual realm, our soul goes. Okay, back with the Heavenly Father. Okay? 1 Corinthians 15, 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. And what type of change is it talking about, man? It's being talked about getting out of these fleshly, immortal, or mortal bodies being put into a, 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 a spiritual body, man. Okay? A Superman-like body. A God-like celestial being, man. Okay? That is nothing but just straight energy and power, okay? In the twinkling of an eye, man, okay? And the dead are going to rise in Christ first, man. All right, get beamed up be and get beamed up into those chariots, man, okay? So it's, it, great things are coming to the men of the Lord, man. We just got to stay focused, okay? Stay in the spirit, okay? Keep doing what the Lord requires of us to do, okay? Keep seeking to better yourself in his truth, okay? Don't get content. Continue putting up videos for the sheep. Continue going out to the highways and byways and living your body a lack of uh, putting your body as a living sacrifice. Okay, and these things that I read about, I spoke about in these scriptures, uh, th th they will be us doing that, man. Okay, Lord willing, we be those men. Okay, so with that, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, Barakada. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And so I take out there to the hopeful elect. Those that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully to USA Shalom.